Hey folks, Antar1011 here, and I am back with a new black and white battle. My opponent is Attack of the Mac 5, who I met through the new Smog on Battlefinder, which, by the way, is awesome! Anyway, we had a whole bunch of um, network issues, a uh, ton of disconnecting, uh, and so this is like our third or fourth attempt at battling, but we finally got the battle. So anyway, I lead off with my um, Darmanitan here, and I go for the Flare Blitz because I, didn't, I had done the calc before the battle and had seen that Flare Blitz would in fact one-hit KO his uh, Smithers, his Sableye, which is so freaking annoying now that it has Prankster. That thing is just so, so super annoying. Anyway. Amazingly, Flare Blitz is actually a two-hit KO against his Dumbo, so I'm like, okay, that's sweet. I mean, I'm taking a ton of recoil, but, um, you know, it's still gonna do a lot of damage, and I'll, it'll be nice to have uh, his Rock, rock Guy slash Spinner out of the way. Um, and with his Rock Guy slash Spinner out of the way, I can go ahead and send out Roserade and set up my Toxic Specs, which will be nice, especially against Sableye. Anyway, um... Flare Blitz is actually a 2 KO against Terrakion, too, but I'm pretty sure that he's Scarfed. If not, he might still outspeed me, so I'm going to go ahead and call back and go into Ringo's, expecting the close combat. Um, instead, he actually goes for the Earthquake, which is also a good move, and I, yeah, I don't know why I was expecting a close combat, but whatever. The point is, Ringo takes that like a boss, and so that's why I think he's probably Scarfed and not um, banded, because if he were banded, I would imagine that do, would do a lot more damage. Anyway, he's going to go ahead and switch out into Smithers, and I'm like, oh no, how am I going to take this guy out? Um, because it's just such an annoying Pokemon. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go for the Surf. Uh, it's not even going to be a two-hit hail, which is not good because priority recovery. Uh, priority recover, rather. Yeah, that thing has priority recover, so if you don't have a two-hit KOing move, it's pretty much impossible to kill this thing. Anyway, he goes for the taunt as I go for the taunt, and that's really, really unfortunate, because now, well, not only can I not recover, but I also can't, you know, he can recover all he wants. Uh, so I do not know how I'm going to kill this Sableye, although, uh, excuse me, Darman 10 is actually a really good switch in because this guy carries Will-O-Wisp and uh, I can't be burned, or rather, Darmanitan can't be burned. But anyway, for some reason I decided to send out Mick, my Umbreon, and I'm going to go ahead and take the Nightshade. I think if I was going to send a Darmanitan, I wanted the free switch, and that's basically the deal there. So anyway, um, Mick goes ahead and takes the hit, and I'm predicting the taunt here because, you know, most Umbreons are wishing sets. Anyway, he actually goes for the Will-O-Wisp, it misses, and that is rather unfortunate. I am sorry about that. But as you're going to see, uh, you know, it's really not that big of a deal. It actually would have helped me out if he had hit me, as you're about to see. Anyway, he, I get a freaking crit, so at this point my opponent is getting rather annoyed with me. Uh, and he's gonna go ahead and go for the recovery, realizing that my payback at this level of, at this level of um, attack is not gonna be enough to even two hit KO. So I'm gonna go ahead and go for the payback here again, just thinking that he might go for the taunt, he might go for the will o -Wisp again, what have you. Anyway, he doesn't, and he survives with enough HP that you know, I'm not going to be able to KO on the next turn either. So now he goes for the Will-O-Wisp. I actually avoid the attack for the second time, and now my opponent's getting pissed. I mean, for, okay, fine, Will-O-Wisp doesn't have the best accuracy, but you really don't expect it to miss two times in a row. That's kind of lame. Anyway, I go for the Curse here, get my attack up to the level where I'm pretty sure I actually can uh, KO this guy at this level of health, and he's going to go for the Will-O-Wisp yet again, and this time it's going to hit. I'm going to get burned, but... Lo and behold, I have Synchronize. I mean, it's not a, uh, an inner focus side. In fact, he should have known that I had Synchronize. Now, granted, I d it doesn't look like he's running any attacking moves um, besides Nightshade, so him being burned isn't the biggest of deals. But, you know, I recover with my Lumberry, get another crit, which, oh wow, this was a haxy battle. But I do manage to take out his Sableye, and that's great because now I don't have to deal with him anymore. Now as Terrakion comes out, now I'm seriously, seriously expecting the close combat, and I'm going to go ahead and go and send out Ringo, uh, just thinking that he'll be locked into it, forced to switch, and whatever. He goes actually for the Sacred Sword, but same difference, just no defense drops, but it wouldn't have gotten a defense drop anyway because didn't hit. So uh, Ringo recovers back up to almost full HP, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to go for the Surf this turn. As he actually switches out, as I could have expected, sends out his Dumbo, uh, but I guess really as Death Fodder, because he knew that I was going to get use Surf. I'd used Surf before, so he knew I was carrying it. Surf is going to KO, bye-bye Dumbo, and no more spinning. So that's great. At any point in this match, I can send out Roserade, set up my uh, Toxic Spikes, 
But you know, it's now that his prankster Sableye is dead, it's not really that big of a deal. Anyway, he goes ahead and sends out Blaine, which is a great name for a, an Alakazam. I assume that's a reference to the magician. I'm blanking on his first name, isn't it like Press or something? Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and go over the surf. I'm pretty sure that's gonna break his sub. I know that basically this guy can one hit. I figure that this guy can one hit KO me with a Shadow Ball, uh, but I just don't want to let this guy get up a free sub. He's gonna go ahead and go for the Shadow Ball here. And this is kind of strange. I survived with 228 HP. I was not expecting to survive with that much HP, but Ringo has taken that hit. Um, it could be that he's running a bulky set that doesn't have the best special attack. I'm really not sure. But I am doing a lot of damage to him. He's going to go ahead and go for the side shot, thinking that I must be specially defensive. But I actually run balanced defenses. Uh, my special defense and defense are actually the same. I get the cursed body hacks, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to take him out on this turn with the Surf and his Alakazam, which now that it gets Magic Guard legally is a huge threat, is now taken down. Yeah, that thing's going to shoot up to OU, I almost guarantee it. I think it's what, hanging around RU right now? Anyway. Uh, his second to last Pokemon is Mothra, Volcarona. He's gonna go ahead and go for the Quiver Dance. Uh, I figured I was just gonna go ahead and go for the Surf, get some damage off, see how much it did. Uh, you know, maybe a Switch would have been a better move, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Surf this turn. Um, and here, another bit of hacks. I am gonna get a crit. Yeah, this was just an awfully hacksy battle, and I'm really sorry, Attack of the Mac. Uh, but... Did that crit actually matter? I should actually do the calcs and find out. He was at plus one special defense, but it was super effective and stab on my end. So yeah, Ringo is blazing through his team like no other, and now he's down to his last Pokemon, which is his Red Bull. He realizes he can't do anything to me, and he is going to go ahead and forfeit. So that is the battle. Good game, Attack of the Mac 5. Battle me again, and I hope there will be less hacks. So long, folks.